So if you're doing a timber frame or you're putting a roof on, you're gonna have wall plates or sole plates. So I've just done a load of sole plates, which I half lap. Now I half lap them because it gives it a bit of strength, especially when I've got a small section over there, which is only 200 mil long. If you add a little bit in, it's just gonna split and break off. So you can set them all out. You can cut through with your saw, you can chisel in from the end. But what's actually best is when you use a circular saw. I'm gonna put a half lap on there. Put a center line down. Mark which side you're taking out. The diddy little circular saw. Like that. Yep. Then I've got my C9U3 for doing this. We take the hammer. Give it a quick clean up with a chisel. Best not to do too much overcut. I mean, you can do, because all this is doing is not spanning over anything. It's just literally just going on top of right, there. Okay. So you could overcut it a bit, but I like to just clean it out just with a chisel it. the last okay. little bit. So I've got my chop saw here set up. Attach that down. It just so happens that this timber locks in underneath there. But if it didn't, you'd find another way. If it didn't, I'd just a couple of blocks there and it would hold itself. But to be fair, when I'm using this, it's got a really sharp blade and I'm not pushing, I'm not pushing at all. The blade's spinning and I'm just letting it glide through. If you're pushing, that means the blade's slightly twisted, you're going out of square. It's just practice and that's probably why they used to call it a skill saw, I suppose, years ago. Make sure you keep checking back because there's so much stuff going on, so much stuff in the future as well. We want to get a bit more adventurous as well and help you guys upskill and even we're learning something as well from your, all your comments that you're making as well. So thanks a lot.